Oh, good afternoon, it's now the 15th of March. Um, it's, you have to excuse the uh, sound quality, it's blowing a gale today. Uh, but we've been doing an awful lot in the garden since uh, the last video. Um, we put up a, a new fence all in the front garden and uh, a new gate at the bottom. And we're, there used to be a, a driveway all the way up the side of the garden. So at the moment, Straighten it all back, we're going to uh, put a new border in against the fence and uh, put a new driveway in. That's a bit of a long term um, thing, but uh, we'll get there hopefully this year. Let's come around the garden, the, all the primroses are coming through, which is really nice now. Uh, the pond is virtually finished, we've just got some more planting to do around the outside. But uh, we planted it up with a lot of uh, snowdrops, uh, some little uh, tet a tet daffs, roses, and helibores. So that's coming on nicely. We've also put a lot of trellis up along the front of the house just to uh, screen the front door off a little bit, which we don't really use. We use a kitchen door. That's all planted up with roses, climbing roses, and uh, honeysuckle and uh, tracking sperm. So that's what we've been busy doing at the front at the moment. We'll go up the back now, see what we've been doing up there. Well, at the back of the garden, we've uh, recently built a new big pergola and, and also put another fence in all the way up the, up the garden. There's a gully that runs down the, in, in between the fence and our next door neighbour's plot. So we just wanted to shield that off, stop the dogs getting through there. And uh, so that's coming along nicely. Dawn's been busy in her polytunnel. Um, we brought along with us when we moved our collection of heucheras, which she's been splitting. And uh, so we're multiplying those. And uh, she's also took some rose cuttings before we moved and they've, they've rooted along with some other bits and bobs in there. In her other polytunnel, uh, Dawn got a bit carried away with the strawberry runners and uh, we've got several hundred of those I, I believe. Different stages. They all coming along nicely and she's got a few bits sewn in some trays, bits and bobs coming along in there. But I don't get too involved in Dawn's polytunnel, otherwise I get in trouble. Well this boulder did have all our heucheras, or some heucheras and aces in. Um, and that boulder there was just full of some old rubbish. Some old bits and bobs, shrubs and perennials, but we've dug most of it out now. We're going to put that down to turf, because whatever goes in the open, if there's a boulder, the dogs dig it all up. So we're going to put the, uh, those borders down to uh, grass so the dogs have a good penny of run. Oh, there are little chickens, or oh, lots of little chickens. They're doing nicely, they've come back in to lay. Uh, the new ones have just started laying. The one on the right the, uh, is a buff Orpington called Tracy. Uh, sorry, no. Um, Sharon, that's Sharon. The one on the left, the lace Sorpington, is Tracy. Tracy Lacey. Two little bantams. One's called uh, Olga and one is called Pandora. Uh, I think Pandora is the speckly one and Olga is the black one. Well, the big polytunnel finally got. Uh, cover put on and um, I put up all green netting around the outside it's still not quite complete but uh, we're getting there I'll show you inside in a moment well, here we are inside the big polytunnel it's not quite finished off yet but I had to get cracking in here to get some plants in as you can see I've got posts with uh, PMB netting running between and the first half the batch of sweet peas or just over half the batch of sweet peas are in 
Uh, there were all the Spencer varieties, or most of them, um, that were ready. And they're getting away nicely now. Some lovely plants. But uh, even with the cover over the, um, the bottom end of the tunnel still gets very wet when it pours with rain. So I've uh, dug a trench down the far end to, to drain as much of it away as I can. <clears throat> and um, it seems to be working. So I've just got to finish off where I've dug the trench out, put the membrane back across at the bottom end. And then uh, and on this side, just um, finish off planting the last few. Got two or three Spencer varieties, and then the, the, the back row will be all uh, old fashioned ones. Well, up this end of the garden, it's still a bit of a mess as you can see. Uh, trying to get on top of things, but the weather has been against us recently. We've had an awful lot of wind and rain. Um, still haven't quite finished off the raised beds, just putting two long raised beds in there. They're going to be for uh, sweet peas, um, for seed, so they're just going to be planted up, uh, up wigwams probably um, in the next few weeks. And uh, they'll do for seed with a bit of luck. As I work my way up, you can see I've got all my sweet peas out here. Finally put them all out, got the rest of them out yesterday to make some space. They're mainly old fashioned ones. All the tops have been pinched out now. And then they were the early sowing ones that are ready to go out. And they're the ones that I've put in the poly tunnel, but um, I just can't get on the ground yet. It's so wet still. Hopefully, end of this week, if it stays dry now, I can get the ground prepared. But it's, uh, it, it, you know, I'm a bit behind now with those. So most of the exhibition sweet peas, although one or two of those I'm gonna have to use, most of them will come from this lot over there. It, uh, they're all the second batch of uh, Spencers that I've sown and um, I'll be using those more than likely. All the tops have been pinched and there's some nice little breaks coming. So they should be ready in three to four weeks to go out, which a little bit later than I'd prefer, but uh, they'll do. Oh, a few more there. They're more Spencer varieties. I put them behind the shed just because it was going to be rough today. And here we are in the uh, propagating tunnel. Got a few uh, trays of seeds, different bedding plants, lobelia, um, some nicotiana, a few odd bits and bobs there. Um, up on the top shelf I've got a load of uh, different, different uh, bedding plants and things that are and you know all, all uh, well uh, well away so they just need pricking out now as and when I get a moment and there are all the dahlias underneath there I've lifted the fleece up just so you can see plenty of cutting material already um, so that's another job for the next couple of days possibly this evening can't do any tomorrow because I'm at the uh, national dahlia Society Annual General Meeting. There's another load, plenty to keep me busy. So I would imagine uh, there'll be another, probably getting on for 200 cuttings by the time I'm finished. And there's some of the cuttings. I've got a few that are rooted up the top there. A few more that are rooted just there. They're pretty much there. And then all the rest of them were, have been done over the last few days. So I like to leave them under a bit of newspaper for a few days just to settle in. And I've got a few pot tubers down the end. The standard, half standard fuchsias, they need uh, a little bit of work. Um, sorting them out and a few odd bits and bobs under there, probably just to take cuttings from as and when I get a moment, which is uh, not very often. And finally into the other tunnel. Uh, the medium sized tunnel or Romeo as we like to to call it we've got Oscar, Romeo and Juliet in order of the size of tunnels I think that's what we've named them 
Uh, right in here, well, we've got a, a mixture of late chrysanthemums. It's all in the green. Um, got some herbs coming along there. Down the far end, a bit of a bit of bedding, marigolds and things. And then on this side are all my plug plants that I just picked up a couple of days ago. I've just started on those today. A few tomatoes, late croissants, more late croissants. Down the far end is where I've made a start on the uh, basket plants today. And I've got a few more up on this uh, Dutch trolley. Um, a few more down there. That's going to be my job for the next few days. So, uh, but yeah, as we, um, as I get them trade up, get the labels in straight away, and uh, that way round they look quite good. So hopefully another another month to six weeks they'll be ready for selling. Wonderful. That's uh, that's it for today. Uh, see you next time.